Welcome back to the second and hopefully the last video on repairing this leaking window. As you recall last time it was leaking pretty badly out of here and that has resealed itself and I don't think I'm going to try uh, hacking anything together again. We're going to drain the tank, pull out the window and replace the seals that are in here. I also made up a couple of brackets that will go along the edge here to help stiffen up and straighten out the tank. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens. Today's video is brought to you by our Patreon contributors. Our top contributors are GrowPockets.com, GlassBottleOutlet.com, GreenLifePlanet.net, and TrueAquaponics.com. Since I'm going to be draining out a whole bunch of water out of the fish tank, I don't want it to go to waste, so I'm going to raise the water level of the deep water culture bed by an inch or so and that will gain a few hundred gallons of water storage. So what I'm going to do is suspend a sump pump into the fish tank and drain the water down below the level of the window and keep the fish in there. I'm sure they'll really appreciate it but I think it's better for them than trying to net them out and putting them into the sump tank itself. So it should be a little less stressful on them. It does look like a horribly jury rigged device, but it's the spare plumbing parts that I had lying around. I'm just gonna run the rope through the handle. I can use it as the lowering device down into the tank. And then I can tie it off and adjust the height as needed. While this is draining, I'll throw the ladder in here so I can get in and out of the tank fairly easily. I'm also going to remove my overflow pipe really isn't necessary but I'm more concerned about banging against it while I'm working in here and uh, breaking something. While I was removing the overflow pipe I noticed that the uh, gasket underneath the bulkhead fitting has bulged out. It had been leaking for a while and I had tightened it a couple of times. Obviously I tightened it too much and ruptured that so one more thing to fix with this it shouldn't take too long now that the tank is drained you can see there's enough water in here for the fish this tank is really oversized so there's still a couple hundred gallons of water in here for these koi and there's fresh water coming in from the rest of the aquaponic system and here's the sump pump that I'm using to keep the water level low in here now that the water level is low enough to get under the window, I'm just going to start removing these nuts off the bolts. Some of the bolts are just spinning around, so I'll have to clamp onto them, hold them in place. Nothing special with this procedure, just now in brute force mode to get this window off and cleaned up and put back on again. Once I crawled in here to finish taking the bolts out, you can see that there's a large crack going down in the polycarbonate. So this is very bad and obviously I'm going to have to replace this window. The other side 
also has several in here. You can see this one is probably the starting point and then it just kept moving down here. So chances are pretty high that I tighten the bolts up too high or as the tank started bowing it just applied too much pressure against the bolt head and it started to shatter. Along the bottom it seems to be fine and of course the top is okay too. The other side is looking pretty good still so we'll leave that window alone. So there's not much else I can do with this today except for take out the bolts and take out the window and I have to order a new one. Now that I have the window out, there's stress fractures on almost every hole in this window. So I'm assuming I've over tightened everything when I did the original install over five years ago. It's funny that none of the cracks though ever came through the line where the edge of the window would have been so I would not have seen any of them from the outside. There is still a little bit of silicone left on the inside of the tank, so it basically did its job. It just was probably over tightened a little bit, and with the stress of this wall bowing out, it just uh, broke the seal between it, everything. It's been a few days. My new sheet of polycarb came in. I've cut that down to size, and I used the old window as a template for all the holes mainly because all these holes aren't lined up exactly right so I just used it and transferred the positions over. The other thing I did with this one is I sanded down the uh, back edge of it just so it wasn't quite as sharp just so if the fish rub against it uh, it shouldn't damage them too badly. So each of the bolts that I'm putting through will have a rubber washer on it on its head and that will keep the water we're going between the head and the polycarbonate. The original install I had um, just put some silicone under here, but these uh, compress a little bit better. And if the, the bolt turns at all, it won't break the seal. I'm going to do this window install just like I did the original one, just using silicone as a, a gasket between the polycarbonate and the tank. So essentially we just clean off the inside with some acetone. Let that dry off nicely. So what we'll do is a, another bead of silicone on either side of these bolt holes. And then we're just going to guide in these bolts through the holes and my helper will put a nut on the other side. Okay. Now to keep the tank from bowing out, this bracket will be bolted to 
the entire assembly and go right down the line. So if there is any bowing force against it, it will be evenly distributed through the entire uh, window area. All right, so there we go. The silicone's already started setting up, so I'm just gonna score it, and once it finally dries, it'll be easier to remove. And in a couple days, we'll refill the tank, the fish will be happy, and hopefully I'll be happy. Now that the window has set for 24 hours, I can pull the pump out and let the tank reflood. Also, while it's filling, I'll put my overflow pipes and all the other parts back together. I did fix this bulkhead fitting, just uh, loosened it up and put the seal back in and didn't tighten it up as much as it was before, so it was a very easy fix. Tank's all filled with water now. The fish seem to be happy. There is no evidence of leaking. And better yet, there is no bow in the tank anymore. So I think we're in pretty good shape. The only thing left to do is clean up the algae from the old leaks, and nobody will ever know this window was leaking. Thanks for watching. <laughs>